This is a demonstration on how to locate the dirt that may build up in a microscope. There's several places the dirt can end up. One, of course, is on the specimen. And if it's on the specimen, it's easy to identify because when you move the specimen horizontally or vertically, whichever the case may be, the dirt moves with the specimen on the slide. So I'm going to move the slide out of the way so it's not a factor. So now, all we're looking at is only the dirt in the optical system. Now the components to, to be concerned about are the little lens that's in front of the camera chip itself, which is physically inside the camera, and there's a uh, intermediate lens that sits between the binocular tube and the camera. This is usually a, uh, a half x or two third x type of a lens system to format the size of the image presented to the camera chip to be as equal as possible to what you see in the eyepieces. So what I'm going to do now is if you look at the dirt on the screen, I'm going to rotate just the intermediate lens. And when I do this, you'll notice that there is dirt that doesn't move in the field and there's dirt that rotates. So the dirt that's rotating is the dirt that's contained within this lens. Now I'm going to secure the intermediate lens and now only move the camera and I'm just going to rotate it. And you'll notice as I rotate it, the rest of the dirt moves, but there's still some dirt that's stationary. The dirt that's stationary, you'll notice, are these pieces here, here, there's a central piece here, there's a piece here, 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 and here. Now those pieces of dirt that are in front of the lens are rotating with the camera, so they don't appear to be rotating. The next step, step we're going to take here is to clean the lenses in the system and show the difference. Okay, now we're going to go over how to clean optical lenses in a microscope. Because the optical lenses are coated with anti-reflection coatings and other very delicate coatings, it's important to use the right type of paper. The paper I use is called Berkshire Lens X 90. This is a special, primarily rayon uh, fiber. It doesn't leave the dust and lint behind that you'll get from either uh, uh, like a tissue, a uh, chem wipe, or even a cotton swab, which is probably the worst thing to use. The way I use this is take the original sheet, which is four by six inches, I cut it down the middle, and that leaves me with these little uh, short pieces. After the paper's cut in half, take a small applicator stick, and I typically wet the end of it with just my tongue a little bit, and then draw a line, an arc, over the paper, and that will lift up an edge of the end of the paper. Use that edge to secure the stick to it, and then rotate the stick, building up a clean leading edge on the end of the stick. So this edge right here has never been touched by human hands. Then the back of it needs sealed back to the stick. Now you have a clean, dust-free, lint-free cleaning surface to work from. Put a little glass cleaner on it, just to dampen it, you don't want it soaked. Lay it on the lens, and then carefully rotate the lens and the paper, working your way to the outside of the lens. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the inside of the lens. Now I'll do the back side of the lens using the same procedure. Notice I'm making sure I don't touch the leading edge of the paper. Wrap it up. Seal the end. And now I have a good applicator. Let's get that other end of the little paper, uh, the other end of the lens. I'm just going to go down in here and rotate this towards the outside. And we'll get another image of it to see how the lens looks. And next we're going to do the same procedure on the camera lens. Now this, this, all cameras have some type of a window in front of the chip. The window is usually coated with an AR coating so that you don't get secondary reflections on the image. But we still need to clean the dirt that's on that window. Okay. 
Here you got the same procedure. And lay the paper down on this and let it form a little uh, flat surface. Rotate that flat surface carefully in a circle and then work it towards the outside and away. Okay, now we have the camera and the intermediate tube assembled back on the microscope. Nothing's been changed in the meantime. So what you can see now is that we have significantly improved the, uh, the dust and the dirt on the image. Again, I'm going to move just the intermediate lens here. And you'll see that there is a little dirt in the field. It's very, very difficult without perfect laboratory conditions to get a lens perfectly clean but you can see we've made a significant improvement and now I'm going to secure the intermediate lens and only turn the camera and you see there is still a couple pieces of dirt attached to the camera lens which will still need to be removed but I wanted you to know that it's very difficult to get every possible piece of dirt off of the lens when you're in the field because as soon as you clean it something will fall on between the time you get it clean and back on the microscope but this is obviously a significant improvement over where it was.